my way, my way, my way, all day, a hey, my way, my way, my way. Okay. What's up, my love? It's your girl, Randy Cat. Me, y'all, and Zach. Kitty. Kitty and our girl, Terilyn. So today we're going to be having a seafood boil. So let's get started. Okay, guys. First things first, we're going to go ahead and start adding everything into our water so we can boil our potatoes and get the spices and the seasonings um, mixing in good. So we're going to add um, celery, uh, cucumbers. Also, the lemons, our oranges, our chicken broth, some butter, gar mixed garlic. And I'll name all these things as I'm adding them, but I'm just naming a few things so you can go ahead and start gathering them. So first thing I'm going to do is pour some chicken broth. It don't matter as long as it's still got the sodium in it. And I'm going to pour half of this in there. This gives it flavor. Okay, so half of 32 ounces. Then I'm going to add minced garlic. You can add garlic coals in if you want to, but I'm just going to add some of the minced ones already. Probably like three to four tablespoons. Okay. Go ahead and order, um, add my butter I'm going to add three sticks of butter in there and I've turned my water on high so that it can start boiling faster but I've turned it down to six so I have enough time everything can start to boil together Okay, that kid, can you get rid of that for me, please? Okay, I got some magic seasoning blend, seafood magic. We're gonna add two to three tablespoons, and you can measure this out, but I've been cooking and baking for a while. I know what it looks like when it's that amount. Okay, guys? Then you're gonna add some of your garlic powder. We just want this to be very garlicky, okay? All right, while we're adding these seasonings, we're gonna have Tara Lynn go ahead and start cutting our lemon and the celery. Can you give me a rag, please? Because the seafood is starting to melt and drip over here. And then we're going to, now that we added a garlic powder, that was basically three tablespoons also and then we're going to thank you, you. The yes four quarters whichever one here you go baby this way. sorry i'm over here trying to wipe up some of the ice water from the seafood and then we're going to add the zatarin's crab oil seasoning And we're going to add, don't know if you ever heard of Everglades, okay? My bae got me on this. So this gives it that extra flavor. So this is going to be four tablespoons. We're going to add some ginger spice. Don't need too much of that. Don't forget your adobe, the Goya adobe all-purpose flavoring. And that is four, <laughs> that's four uh, tablespoons, guys. Gonna add a little bit of pepper. I just like my crabs and my seafood to have great flavor. Okay, guys, now for that spice, crushed red peppers. And this is going to be four, well, three and a half to four tablespoons, guys, because again, 
We want it garlicky, but we want it spicy. We're going to add the crab oil, but we're having a little difficulty, guys. Give me a second while I open this. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add the zatarin, if I can get it off. And while Tara Lynn is cutting those fruits, Zay Kitty is going to go ahead and stir the pot. And Zay Kitty is stirring the pot. I'm going to add two one fourths, so two fourths of two fourths. Sorry, I'm going to add more, but right now, ooh, I'm trying to burn my child. Do it slowly so you don't burn yourself or your child. Make sure I didn't get to that side. Again, we're going to add more of this, but not at the moment. So place that to the side while Zay Kitty stirs. And Tara Lynn has cut up every uh, some of the lemons. Okay, you keep three of those for the test of flavor. When we get them, not even oranges. We're going to add the lemons. You want these in half? Or are you doing the long way? Julian. Oh, sorry. Like, like how you do a lemonade. Oh, okay, gotcha. And we're going to put two whole lemons in. There we go. And I'm going to squeeze a couple of them as I go. There we go. All right, Zay Kitty. Sorry, while she's finishing up stirring it, making sure it is well incorporated. Tara Lynn has cut some fresh lim um, oranges up and we're just gonna add those. It don't have to freeze my going in. Just gonna add those. So we've added lemon and oranges for that a little bit of sweet flavor, but also you know, a little tang. <laughs> now, for my secret, we get hot and spicy boiled peanuts, and we're going to put this in later, but we're going to use the juice for now. So pop this up. Push it up down so the peanuts don't go in. And add, Add the juice from out of the boiled peanuts. Okay, guys? How's it smelling, Layla? Smells good? I can't smell it. <laughs> I smell the lemon. I smell the wing juice. Oh, yeah, that smells good. I went on and cut up some onions, placed that in there too. That's just one whole Vidalion onion. I use Vidalion onions. They're a little more sweeter than most onions. Okay, what you got? Let me 
Oh, oh you said the celery. Celery and uh, the potatoes. All right, we're gonna add our last ingredient, which is our celery for flavoring. And we're gonna let that come to a little simmer or a little boil. And then we'll start adding our potatoes, our corn. And then once that has in our eggs, and once that has softened, we'll start to add our seafood, okay guys? Okay guys, I forgot one more ingredient, and that was a little bit of salt, not too much because most of these things already have it. So, we just put a little in there like that. Go ahead, you can drop your celery in. Oops. And these vegetables is just to give it flavor, guys, okay? Just like that. It's kind of like your seat, you're making a stock for your seafood, okay? You want it to be flavor. Yes, your sauce that you're dipping in it in is going to be good, but this gives it everything, okay? Gives it even more, the flavor inside the seafood, okay? All right, again, we're gonna go ahead and let that simmer and everything start to come together. We'll be back. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna add the corn and the potatoes in and let them cook down and soak up some of all this goodness, okay? The aroma. Is yes, busted. God. <laughs> so just go ahead and add your veggies in. Okay, guys. As you can see, it's boiling down. That's what we're doing. I want to make two pots. So we're going to continue to let it boil down until the potatoes become a little bit more soft and then we'll add these eggs and the sausage so that they're not overcooked or bust open. Okay guys? Okay guys, we're going to start adding in our sausage and our eggs. Okay guys, we've let everything cook down as you can see. Corn, sausage, potato, we're about to take that out. But before we take it out, I'm going to add those boiled peanuts I was telling you about. Even though they're cooked, we all know they're still a little hard. So we're just gonna add them and then start adding the seafood, okay guys? All right, again. Peanut patch. Okay guys, now that everything has cooked, I'm going to remove my eggs. I don't like fishing, fish, fishing for my sides, my, you know, my potato corn and sausage and eggs. So I boil them separate from once I'm done boiling them. I remove them and then I put my seafood in it because, and I'm just moving my eggs and stuff over to the other pot I had going. But I am removing my potatoes so they don't disintegrate at the bottom of the pot. Okay, everything has moved. So now I'm gonna start adding my crab legs, my crawfish, my, well put my oysters in first and then my crab legs, then my crawfish, and the rest of the crab, dungeon crabs I have, and then of course the mussels will be last with the shrimp. All right, we're gonna start adding in our oysters. Okay guys, I'm adding in oysters. They're gonna take a little longer to open up. And my juice has basically boiled out, but I had put some aside, which is smart. So you can pour it back on and everything can make sure it's steam, okay guys? So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our crab legs, okay? So let that cook a little, okay guys? Let this steam down. It's bigger than my pot, so <laughs> we're gonna have to put this in there and let it steam down sideways, okay guys? We'll be back. Okay, so Tara, we got them in there. Tara Lynn's just gonna pour the rest of the remaining juice that we poured aside on top so that we make sure everything getting flavored, okay guys? So we're just gonna do that. 
And we'll be back once it's steam. I'm gonna add the top to it, okay? So that they can steam evenly. Okay, I'm gonna add my top, but while these are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and put our sides, our little fixing on the table so that when these are done, I could just put everything on the table and we could just eat off the table, okay guys? All right. Okay guys, now, now that the crab legs are steaming, we're gonna go ahead and do the crawfish and the mussels in the smaller pot because they're basically already cooked. So, just need to be heated basically, so. I did buy the cooked ones already, as you can see. All the spiciness on it. So we're just going to go ahead and, hold on, I'm going to remove some of these. Peanuts. Out of here before I add them in there. It's just because I want to make sure I find some and eat them. I love boiled peanut shots. Now that I've removed that, we're going to pour our crawfish in this pot back here and our mussels. But they're, like I said, they're already pre-cooked. They just need to be heated. Okay, guys? Oh, yes, that smells so good. It's already steaming. And we're going to put our pre-cooked mussels also that just need a little steam in there. And I got these from Walmart. Like that open them up for a man and let them steam. I'm gonna open up the second pack. Whoops. Turn that down so that you can hear me a little more. But yeah, we're gonna put the last bit of these in there. Let them steam. Once they're done steaming. We're gonna go ahead and add in our shrimp, okay guys? All right, I'm gonna put the top on this and let this steam also, all right? All right, be back. Okay guys, I'm removing the big ones. And then we're gonna add the dungeon cr uh, crab. And we're gonna let them oysters cook a little bit longer. Once we add the other ones, we'll take all of it out. Okay guys, all right. we're gonna go ahead and steam these last uh, bit of shrimp. We're gonna do the shrimp. Cause you know shrimp don't take too long unless they're gonna become gummy and rubber, rubbery. We're gonna put the shrimp and the lobster in for probably five to 10 minutes. Not too long guys, but do it as you please. My water is super duper hot. So like I said, you don't want these things to overly cook. And it don't, maybe, not five to 10, but maybe like 10 to 12 at the most. Okay, just watch them. When they start turning completely red, they're done, okay? We don't need no gray looking questions. But we'll time it, we'll know. I'll give you the correct time of how long I steamed it. And then once you get all your shrimp in there, you're gonna take your lobster. Now what I did was I took a pair of the scissors the and I cut the back of the lobster so when it steams out, it comes right out there. You can get it quicker. Like I said, they're there. Not in the sink, baby. So we're gonna go ahead and let these sink, but I'll show you how to cut this back with a pair of scissors. Okay, guys. So what I did was take these scissors. These are clean scissors. As you can see, the water dripping off. I took it and I just stuck it up underneath there and then I cut down the back just like this. So when it steams out, it's right there. You can get to it faster. All right, guys. So we're just going to go ahead and steam this for a little bit, okay? All right, guys. We're basically done with our crawfish and mussels. Sorry, it's a little hot. 
So we're just going to go ahead and put them on the table. See how that came out? Like I said, they were already pre-cooked. So I just kind of steamed them. They had seasoning on and everything, okay? So we're going to go ahead and add that to the table while our lobster and shrimp continue to cook. Okay, right, guys, guys? These lobsters have been cooking for literally 10 minutes. There you go. Shrimp has two. See them right there? And they're starting to curl up, and you don't want to overcook them, okay, guys? All right, we're going to take this out, and we're going to show you our finished product. Now, this is how you do a seafood boil. Tell them what they need to know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and call those your favorite part. See you next time. See you next time. Don't forget to try it at home.